when you watch a nature show and a lion has its jaws on a gazelle and you know that soon it's going to be all over. They say that the gazelle becomes calm. It gives up the fight and in so doing experiences a rush of endorphins that create this sensation of peace. You know, it's such a violent end and yet all it feels is bliss. I never want to be like that gazelle. I want to fight. <laughs> Ow. Oh. oh. Kaya, 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 what are you thinking? You need to take it slow. That leg is not going to heal right away. Mom, it wasn't my fault. You have to take responsibility with that bike. Every time you go out there, it's dangerous. Does it matter whose fault it was? I think they're already at mile 80. Looks like they're winding down. It's too bad. You know, I think that I could have won for my age group. I thought this was one of those fun runs, like for a ridiculous charity. Like or something like that. So did you decide if you're going to accept the application to Ames yet? Are you going to go? I decided I'm going to be a marketing major. Wow, you've already picked your major. I, I don't really, um, I don't think I know yet what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just sit in my room for three days straight playing guitar and and then I'll magically know what my major is going to be by the end, and the song will just tell me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you are pretty good, though. I always thought that. I mean, you're not Regina Specht or anything, but I think we all know you only play for James, right? <laughs> right? Why haven't we ever been to New York? Seriously? That's a stupid question. Well, no, I mean, Andy goes all the way there, so, you know. <laughs> 80 goes to Omaha, too, but we aren't going there, are we? <laughs> so, how far exactly is this cool swimming hole? Not too far now, my little smurf. <laughs> Sorry. I'm okay. I'll guide. You know how some people just know they're gonna die? Like, age 33 or 42 or something like that? You're crazy. You think about this stuff often? Well, I, I think that I'm gonna live for a long time, but not too long, because I don't want to be like my grandma, you know, like a total dead weight. You're saying you don't want to be like your grandma? <laughs> That's so mean. Well, Jeez. I just, I think I'm gonna live until I'm 64. Because it's a year before retirement age, and I'm gonna die in my house in a place like Sydney, Australia, like a cool place like that. 27 for me. I think all those famous rock stars like um, Kurt Cobain and <laughs> Jimi Hendrix and um, Tupac and who, that guy from The Doors, what is his name? Morrissey. Oh my God, you have ice cream all over <laughs> <laughs> yes. You wanna lick it off? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> thought you were into that kind of thing. You don't wanna lick it oh. off? <laughs> Oh my god! 
Wait, you, you just, seriously you, just did that? You just fucking licked my hand. I couldn't live here forever. I'd never make it. You're just being over dramatic. Seriously, you know you're gonna love ISU and all your friends are gonna be there. They'll probably even have a bicycling team for you. Yeah. You're right. You know I'm gonna go. It's just, um, it's been really tough lately because of my fucking knee and my mom being a bitch and all. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Hi, it's Angela. I hate this place. How was your ride? It was great. I'm not going to Iowa State. I'm going to the city. Kaya, what are you saying to me? Did you suddenly get a degree that I didn't hear about? You don't have an education. You don't have a job. You don't have enough money to go wherever it is you're planning on going. It's just going to be for the rest of the summer and maybe the fall. I, I will be back. I can, I can go to state next year and I can work at Dan's company. You can't just spend the rest of your life riding around on a bicycle expecting to get by.
never been to New York before. I don't think I'm gonna leave. Being a bike messenger is everything. It's love and hate, it's exhilaration and boredom. It's everything, good and bad. Your job is to make deliveries as fast as possible. The more deliveries you can make in a day, the more money you'll make. You have to be aware at all times. Cab stopping, people crossing the street in the wrong place, trucks without turn signals, potholes, sewer grates. It's all dangerous and you're in the middle of it. I want to conquer the city. I want to know every street, every borough. I want to know how it works. New York is a lot of cyclists. There are other. Vivre à New York, c'est weird, c'est très froid. Spells, spells last night. We could, the easy way is pay the bills, and I'll do sixty-two dollars and fifty cents in runs, and I'll just build streetwise for that. All righty, thanks. Bye bye. Yadika got a pickup at Beast and it's going to 125 West 44 and just pick it up and give me a call. Hi Streetwise. And we're picking up from you. And where's it going to? You got it. Thank you. You ready? All right. I got two pickups at Sendroff. It's funny, the messenger guys, you know, they're cool and everything. Picking up at 150 Varick. They know the city by now, and even though I feel like I'm not in their class yet, I know that still they're just like me, alone. Hi, you the ladies. Pick up. Come on in. Here you go. Thanks. Thank you. Yo, get yeah, money. When I'm riding, I can go anywhere, but I sometimes wonder if I'm actually getting to some place. That night, the images keep flashing in my head. The red pedicab I almost hit on 6th, the dirty cube truck that took out my back tire, and the fear never goes away. And there's something so natural about riding a bike for a living that maybe I shouldn't always be fighting against the streets. But I do. Yo, you <laughs> see that fucking car almost hit me, man? Hey, I don't go. Oh, God. What a fucking crazy that day. Well, growing up in Oklahoma, I knew it's where I wanted to be, New York City. 
and I started painting seriously in high school. I mean, at first it was just the East Coast, the arts are strong, there's good music, and it's just, you know, a good place to be for a contemporary artist. You could go someplace else, I was just dead set on, on being here in New York. And freedom, being able to ride my bike every day, to paint my own dream, to paint my own path, creativity and independence always rolling. And New York's a hustle. It defeated me. I had to leave for like three years. I came back from my grandma's funeral and uh, I was staying at my parents' house and before I left I had packed all my stuff up in their basement. It was like a time warp down there. And I went down and I saw all my old stuff and found my bike. Went to a shop and filled up the tires and it was like I had forgotten about it. And it was, I missed it and I didn't even know it. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to go fast, you know? I just like, I loved the action and I loved the adrenaline and I just, I just needed to get out of Iowa. So I left and, and I came here and I just, I love it here. It's like I have a crush on the city, even if it doesn't always seem to like me back. Not now, because I can't imagine being anywhere but the city, but I think I can make enough money to just, to just ride my bike around the country. Yeah, I would be scared, but I mean, I, I could make it. You guys ever have girls hit on you while you're riding? You're kidding, right? No. You? <laughs> kind of. I mean, I get all sorts of people like, all the time. When I'm coming at them, they just like stop and stare at me like, oh shit, is that a chick on that bike? Like moving that fast? <laughs> I always have this fantasy about picking up a girl on her at work. Actually picking her up on my bike and riding her home. Maybe she should have to steal with her feet for a while. She has to be pretty skinny. <laughs> Did you uh, ever think about stopping the bike and talking to her first? No. No stopping. It's not allowed. Oh, okay, yeah, no stopping. Think about it. Have you just stopped for no reason at all just to talk to someone while you're holding a package? Nope. Always keep moving. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, you working tomorrow, man? Nah, man, I'm gonna be taking the day off painting all day. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing some art. Oh, shit, dude. Are you okay? Oh, we need an ambulance. Yeah, we signed up for a hit class. Oh, so oh, oh, At Avenue B and East Line, we need Kaya. an ambulance. Is she bleeding? She's bleeding. Yeah, she's, she's bleeding. She's unconscious. I, I mean, she's not moving. Oh my god. Yeah, Avenue B and East Ninth and Tompkins Square Park. It's on the bike that I can find my freedom, that I can be happy, always on this bike. Watching Spacey.